Hi guys, it's me. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I hope you all received every single gift that you wanted. I certainly have. I'm very, very grateful for it. And yeah, so I've got two presents I'm going to show you today. And I've got to go to my dad's house to get the other two that I want to show you. Um, I know I'm a bit late with this, but I've been super busy with all of the animals at work. We're totally out of control right now at the kennels. Uh, but I'll do my best to keep you informed and keep the videos flowing. Um, anyway, um, I've gotten one big major present from my mum and dad. And it was for my birthday and Christmas, so it's like a joint present. Um, it's worth over $300 and that's not including the flights or fuel I'll need to actually get to the location it's in. Um, but that's for later in this segment when I go to my dad's house to get the other presents and show you them. Uh, I've only got two presents here to show you uh, before I'll need to switch to the other house. Uh, these are only minor presents, like I don't say minor in like a bratty kind of cheap way, but they're minor definitely compared to the major present I've gotten which is over $300 as I've said before. Um, I love them all the same, they're absolutely gorgeous. Thank you everyone who got me these presents, I am super super spoiled and I love them. Disclaimer, right now before we even get into actually seeing what they are, I'm not a spoiled brat. My parents work really hard to get enough money to do what they do for me and my brother and they work 50 plus hours a week each. My dad works as a manager and an owner for two retail shops and he's thinking about buying a third to set up and my mum works as a registered nurse and is a manager of her own section in an aged care facility. If anyone wants to know, that's what my parents do. They do it very well and they earn a lot of money from it. So we are kind of an upper middle class family, I guess you could say, uh, but when by no means rich. So just clearing that up now. Anyway, first present I have to show you was given to me, to me by my mum. Just a little trinket keychain. Wow, the lighting's really bad. I'm in my parents' master bedroom right now, as you can see. Best lighting in the whole house. Um, anyway, just got this cute little I Love Dogs keychain. It has, obviously, an I Love Dogs symbol. It has a dog bowl with a bone in it. A rag bone trinket and two paw symbols. One for big dogs and a little one for small dogs. Love it, love it, love it. I've got a horse um, keychain that my nana gave me last Christmas and that was for my birthday as well because it cost her quite a lot. Um, I think it's solid silver, I'm not too sure, it might be solid um, steel. But then again, I don't really care. It's a horse, so I'm happy. <laughs> um, next present I got was really, really, really sweet. Didn't expect to get anything from the people I got it from. This present is from my bosses, David and Wendy. And they got me this little gorgeous bronze kind of horse statue with a little plant here. It's got so much detail in it, it's actually really pretty. But yeah, that's it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love them for thinking about me and obviously liking me enough to want to get me a present. They also got me a birthday present, but it's not animal related. Um, but for any of you who are wondering, uh, it was perfume and body lotion. 
Um, yeah, it was just a really sweet thought. They didn't need to do that. I have only been working there not even four months. And they obviously like me enough to <laughs> to consider me one of the family, so to speak. Um, but yeah, I, I consider them my second family and I really love working there. So it was just a little extra bonus to reassure me that they really like me and they want me to stay there, kind of. The last person I had employed there was working there for five years and she's only just quit because she wants to uh, earn enough money to buy a house and I think that's why she quit. I wouldn't see why it wouldn't be the reason why she quit because she loved it there um, but she just needs a bit more money to get enough to get a loan on a house. Um, anyway, I'm there now and I'm enjoying myself very, very much. And yeah, it just completely surprised me that they were sweet enough to get me a present for both my birthday and Christmas. Anyway, I'll be going to my other house now to complete this segment. Uh, and you'll see my major present in the next section. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year again. I will see you in about half a second after this video is ended. Bye. Hi guys, it's me. So I'm at my dad's now and I'm about to show you uh, two more presents. One of them is a major present which is kind of like a joint birthday Christmas present because my birthday is actually on the 23rd of December. And so I'll show you that later as my last present and I'll show you my minor present that I got. I say minor because this is cheaper than what the joint present was. The joint present, if anyone wants to know, I'm sure you're not that interested, but if you do, it was over $300 comfortably. Um, so my big present came wrapped in with this. It's just a 2014 horse calendar. Um, it's about mm, halfway in between a4 and A3 size if anyone really wants to know. I'm just trying to make the video a bit longer. Um, but yeah, that came with my joint present uh, just to disguise it a little bit so I didn't really know what it was. Um, and my major present is this. I'm not sure if any of you can read it. It looks backwards on my camera right now as I'm talking to you. Um, but it is an Ebony Park Performance Frisian experience. I'll read out what I get in it. It says, Merry Christmas Sheridan, you were invited to an Ebony Park Performance Frisian experience. This entitles you to a tour of Ebony Park including meeting all the stallions. They have five, Ebony Park Arbor which is a Grand Prix stallion, Ebony Park Jorrett which is a medium level stallion, uh, Zeus of Ebony Park, um, Dante, or Ebony Park Dante, I'm not sure what way his name is, um, and Ebony Park Elko. So they also have a YouTube channel, so I highly recommend them. They do excellent tutorials and they have beautiful, beautiful people and horses there. They're so friendly and I just can't wait to go and meet all of them. I'll definitely, definitely be getting a video of that for you. As of yet though, we don't have a solid booking for the date. Um, but it'll be sometime next year for sure. Anyway, back to what I get in that experience. Um, I get a lesson on an Ebony Park horse, which is 45 minutes. Um, for the more experienced riders, they're able to ride Ebony Park Yorit, um, who is one of the stallions, as I mentioned before. Um, but as I'm obviously not that experienced yet, I will probably get a lesson on the Karuk Tambo, who is a FEI Grand Prix Schoolmaster. Um, I think he's half TB, half Frisian, yeah. Yeah, the Karuk Tambo. Yeah, to have the Karuk on the front of their name, they have to be half TV, I think. Um, but yeah, that's who I'll probably get to ride. I'm not too sure. Um, they might have other horses, I don't know. 
Um, I get to sit on an Ebony Park stallion, including a photo opportunity. So, again, I'm not sure whether you get to choose the horse that you want to have a picture on. Um, but you get just a little sit on them and a photo opportunity if you're uh, inexperienced enough that you're not allowed to ride them for your lesson. Uh, so that's a nice little bonus. Uh, I get a tour of the property to see all of the young horses, the mares and the foals. Uh, which will be really fun. I cannot wait to see all the cute little Frisian foals. Uh, I also get to observe a training session with the stallions, with Lois and Natasha. Uh, if you don't know, Lois is one of the like working students there, I guess. I don't really know, but she rides all of the stallions and kind of trains them. And Natasha is a Grand Prix rider. Uh, and she owns the whole place and she owns Ebony Park Arbor, which, as you heard before, is one of the stallions they have, who is at Grand Prix level. Uh, I got a lunch with Natasha, which will be really cool. Get to talk to her about her experiences and everything like that. And then I get the Frisian Handbook, Month One Baby Steps, which will be really cool. I'll love reading that because I... I'm planning on getting a horse as soon as I can, basically. Uh, I know that seems like a bit of a leap from the riding I'm at now, but, you know, I'm not focusing on getting up to, you know, Olympic level. I'm just learning to ride for the love of horses. I'm not interested in competing on a weekly basis or anything like that, but, yeah. Uh, so that's my major present. As I said, it's over $300. Um, and... My parents are very patient with me because when I said this and I said that it was all the way in Victoria and that we live in South Australia, that's a nine hour drive. You've got to understand that it's going to cost them more than $300 to just get me up there. Um, so it's either a nine hour drive or plane flights. We're not too sure yet. It's only a one hour plane flight, which seems a bit weird to me because, you know, spending over $300 on tickets just for a one hour plane flight seems a bit silly to me when it would probably end up costing less just to drive down there because we have family members in Victoria so we could go down and see them to make it a bit more worth our while, you know what I mean? But anyway, I'm super, super, super excited. You really do not know how much I am excited about this. Yeah. There you go. Highly, highly, highly recommend going and subscribing to them on YouTube. And visit their website as well. They have a beautiful website. You get to see all the mares and the stallions and you get to kind of make your dream horse on one of the tabs that they have and see which horses are up for sale and you also get to submit questions for their YouTube channel from their website. So if you've already subscribed to them and you didn't know that was how they got the questions done for their YouTube channel, go and do that. Cannot wait. We've got heaps of other stuff happening as well. Today is the 30th and I'll have this video up today. Tomorrow... I will have my 2013 video up. Uh, two days later, on the 2nd of the 1st, I will have my first writing lesson of the year video up, hopefully. I may do it the day after, depending on how knackered I am. Uh, and then on the 31st, me and my friend are going out for a trail ride together. Um, but I won't tell you where, because it's going to be a surprise. Um, but that was my Christmas present to my friend, so hopefully I'll be able to film, but I'm not sure whether they will allow me to. But either way, heaps of videos coming up in the next sort of three weeks. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm super pumped to get this present done and to get a video up for all of you guys so you can see my experience with them. I wish you a happy new year.